Hey guys, Path of Gaming right here, right now, bringing you another TFT video. And uh, today I'm playing in a tournament. It's a small, small tournament, Continental League tournament. It's pretty cool. Uh, I believe, I believe these are the four people I'm playing with. And then there's just uh, three randoms. So hopefully the random players don't take it. Uh, this is the first out of three pre preliminary rounds, and after that we have uh, three final games as well. If I if I qualify for the finals, which I hope I will, which I hope I will. Uh, essentially, it doesn't matter how many people sign up. The the top eight based on points from the preliminaries qualify for the finals, and then the top eight play three games against each other to decide the champion. Which I think is a is a Fairly fair, okay, that sounds dumb. It's a relatively fair system. Let's get the bow if we can. Still think bow is the strongest, followed by uh, things like glove, rod, or armor. Those are, those are the four things I've written down. Bow, glove, armor, and rod. So I always try to start with one of those items if I can. Callista, oh my god, too good. Nuno's fine, but Callista's just so, so, so good. I think people undervalue Callista. I've gotten a lot of wins with Callista. I think she's super, super strong. People just don't value her enough. Especially when you have a bow. Yeah, there's a Callista over here. And yeah, there's a bow over here, okay. So we're gonna be contesting. We're gonna be contesting each other most likely. Most likely. Can't take the mage. How about I make money though? How about I just force that for fun? I can just go Z, right? Since he has Callista, I can go Z. So I want to lose now. To guarantee that I get uh, my bows. So I'm not really playing a strong board. I just want to get some bows. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's not enough. Three oh perfect. So wait, can I two star that? Can I even afford it? I can't actually afford to two star it, okay. So I will two star it, yep. 
Wow, these cars are so weak. It's really tough playing weakest board against some of these guys because uh, weakest board has a whole new meaning against these guys. Hope I'm not too strong. This guy probably beats me. I'm scared, like these guys are so damn weak. Okay, yeah, they should beat me, he has a chosen. Good loss, good loss. Also, I need to make sure that I, yeah, that I have. Okay. At least a lot of HP, bow coming my way. Nice, does he want a bow? I don't think he does. Do I really care? No, I don't really care what he wants. So we have the bow now. So we're just gonna force that. Sounds like fun, guys. Sounds like fun. Just an easy, easy warm-up game. Forcing Zed. So we got Spirit Diana, Warlord Vi, Divine Nasus, Spirit Diana again. No chosen. I'm surprised nobody has chosen. So if I want to play strongest board, if I'd want to play strongest board, I easily can do that. It's not the best chosen, but I have to take it. It's just too juicy. So wait, um, how do I make gold here like this? Am I three starting the pike? There's a cultist pike, but can I run cultist with this? Probably can, I can three start the pike. I think a three unit loss. I'm just scared that I'm too strong. I haven't played Ninja or Dark Angel, right? Okay, no, <laughs> he's okay. Don't have to worry about this guy anymore. Uh, ninja? Uh, I should be able to lose against that. Yeah, that, that has to beat me with the Kindred. Loss, good loss. I'd rather get the cultist. So I have a cultist here for this.
Look at this economy though. Look at this economy. It's disgusting. Disgusting economy. Challenger level economy. Let's go. Let's go. Three bows for Zed. Go Zed. Nice. So eventually I'm gonna play spirits, right? But I can I can play uh Yeah, I can always play a random cultist with this. Wait, what? Did I see a Kale already? Perfect loss. I'll take a perfect loss. It's doing wonders for my economy. Wonders for my economy. My economy is disgusting. My economy is so disgusting, guys. Disgusting economy. I need a Slayer, though. But Slayers are expensive, right? So I should level up for a Slayer. Are you re-rolling or not for Diana? I think this thing isn't re-rolling. Okay, we won one, so that means we need to win more. I'm gonna roll a bit for a Slayer, I guess. Can I find a Slayer though? No, no, this is tournament, tournament, man. Read. I the title is short enough. <laughs> the title is short enough, no. I would not be inting this hard on ladder. That was the last title. This is what? The title hasn't updated. Okay, okay. Welcome, both of you. Happy to have you both. I got a 173 LP, I believe. So I am challenger. So I am challenger now. So now I'm chilling. Now I'm chilling playing a tournament.
What is this? Why can I find a... Why can I find a Slayer? Oh, there's a Slayer. Maybe it's, if I wasn't blind, I would find earlier. Punished. Yeah, if I found if I had found this light earlier, it would have been a lot better. I can actually pivot this to Olaf. No, I'm just gonna force that. But I mean, this is. How about I just put this on Olaf so I have double carry? Why not do that? That sounds like fun. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. So Olaf can carry as well now. <laughs> Let's have two carries. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. More carries, more better, right? More carries, more better. Who's a good cultist? I guess Aatrox can be frontline. Yeah, Aatrox can be frontline. This a little bit better. We're at a party. Let's party. Party. Vladya, Vladya taking over the fight. Look at that. I'm getting shit on over here. Completely shit on. Good shit, good shit, bro. That looks nice. Front line.
Wait, how can I? I can cut this and this, yeah. Oh, I missed that email. Yeah, I'm not very familiar with this comp, so I'm just trying to figure it out right now. Broloff seems like a good backup carry though. Obviously I don't care about that, I wanna get a sword. Okay, nice. <laughs> so I have uh, perfect Z items, almost perfect Olaf items. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So I cut, I cut Jan out, then I put in uh, Timo and Kindred. Yeah, I want to three star this out. I think that's a good idea. I think someone had a pike. This guy had a pike for some reason. Oh yeah, pike is good for him. There's a Zed. So Jenna's being dropped for sure. Kindred is more important than Teemo. Fine, I'll take Jenna. Perfect Z, perfect Olaf. Yeah, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Double loss, nice. Good job, Lulilu. Sure. How am I getting this? Again, and this. It's so good. But sacrifices must be made, guys. Sacrifices must be. Wait, why am I? Oh, yeah, this is for Assassin. Okay. Sacrifices must be made. I'm just, yeah, I just feel bad about making ma making certain sacrifices, you know what I mean? <laughs> like not picking up uh, a free Azir, not picking up a free Dragon Man. Can't be disabled. <laughs> can't be disabled, but can be killed. Can't be disabled. Can be killed. Finally, some fun. Wants a death cap. Yumi wants a death cap. I think Yumi death cap is probably the best.
But there are people who actually force this shit. This shit doesn't look that strong. I don't know. I don't know. Good job, Zed. I feel like this is kind of underwhelming. Maybe I'm playing it wrong. It just doesn't feel as strong as it should, right? There's people like forcing this comp all the freaking time. I mean, I thought I could get an easy, easy win of this, but. Maybe. Maybe three star is really good. Okay, there's a big difference between two star and three star. Zed and two star Olaf, yeah, yeah. I want Runans for Olaf if I can. Or Zeke's obviously is really good. I'll take the Zeke's. Think about Tamira, right? But Olaf is semi frontline. Like Samira is not bad, but Olaf is more of a frontline. Although those items on Samira are pretty disgusting too. But you want Samira two star if you wanted to carry. So like one star Samira is okay, but two stars so much better. Do I even bother rolling here? I don't think I bother rolling right now. Oh nice, I got a 3 star. <laughs> Did we start the, the Kale? That would be nice. He's gonna 3 star his Kale. Nice. Go for it, 3-star your Kale, man. 3-star your Kale. You just need one more. One more and you have 3-star Kale. Come on, bro, come on! Come on, you got this, bro. I mean, I want Diana to have the Zeke's buff because she has the most mana, right? So I need her to cast relatively soon without dying. Diana, please cast. Nice. Ooh, nice feathers. Feathers bitch slap. Cool, cool, cool.
Am I getting another item? That's the thing. Am I gonna get another item for Olaf? Let's believe I. Oh, okay, never mind. Never <laughs> mind. I'm not getting another item for Olaf. Nice. So I should probably try to three-star some stuff, right? There's nothing else I can do right now. Top four, top four. I definitely could have played this a lot better. So I'm playing this guy now. How do I kill that? How do I kill Executioner? Uh, am I playing, I might be playing this guy. This guy is easy. But I should position against this guy as well. Yeah, if I'm playing this guy, it's just GG. Okay, GG. GG. <laughs> One hit. One hit. <laughs> nice. So yeah, three star kill guys, pretty strong, right? Pretty damn strong. So this is how you kind of force that. I'm not that great with that. I just want to try to force force it. Apparently, if you do it right, you can win your lobby. Or I mean, obviously, I could probably beat everyone except three star kill. So I could have gotten. Maybe I could have won this lobby actually if he hadn't three star kill. So yeah, this is uh, forcing Zed, Path of Gaming, signing out.